it, eh? Hey, did you just see that then? Those doors opened by themselves, automatically. Spooky. There they go, they did it again. I guess that's why they call them automatic doors. But here's a question for you. How do automatic doors know when to open? Hmm? Because the sensor thing sees you. It's from the electricity and they've got a button. They might sense whoever's coming. There's a beeper at the top and people open the doors from a button, I think. Because there's a camera up there and then when you come it has a light flash. Because our person's waiting. Um, when you're standing there and they've got a little camera and then they look down at you and then they know because they have that thing up top. In the olden days, important buildings like posh hotels used to have people for door openers. But these days, there doesn't seem to be anybody around to open the door. When you listen, you can hear a kind of electrical whirring sound, like there are electrical motors that are opening the doors, but that doesn't explain how the doors know when to open. See? There they go again. Hmm. So maybe there is a kind of door person hiding somewhere with a big electrical switch. And when they see somebody coming, they flip the switch and open the doors. Hmm. I can't see anybody around here who could see me coming. Hmm? You think there might be somebody up there who can see me coming? I don't think so. But that thing up there, whatever it is, is pointing in the right direction for people coming through the door. I think it's time for a good hard think. Hmm. You know, I find doing something like this helps me think. Now, what did that little black box above the door remind me of? A little black box pointing at something a bit like a TV remote. Those TV remotes send out a signal to the TV like an invisible ray that zaps through the air. Yeah, just like that. Except you can't see them because they're invisible. So that black box above the door looks a bit like a fat TV remote. Ow. Ooh. Oh, did you hear that? Oh no, this poor china vase was out for an afternoon walk and it got hit by my ball. Hey, but did you notice something then? The ball bounced back differently. So even though I didn't see what happened, I heard what happened. So I knew that something was there because of the way the ball bounced back to me. It bounced off the vase in a different way than it bounced off the wall. Yeah. Hey. I think I've discovered a way of detecting if someone is in the doorway. Watch closely. Now there's a reason for this, so keep watching. Ow! Hey! I think I've detected that someone or something is in the doorway. I kept throwing these balls and when one bounced back to me, that meant that something was in the doorway. Great! Uh, but before I go off and market this wonderful new invention, I think I'd better do some fine-tuning. I'm just about out of bouncy balls, and anyone who's going to come through the doorway probably won't want to be hit by one. Okay, come on, Susie. We need to think this one through. Do you know what I'm thinking, Susie 2? I think I do, Susie 1. What we need is something that will travel through the air and bounce off people standing in the doorway without hurting them. What we need is something that will travel through the air and bounce off people standing in the doorway without hurting them. Something invisible. Something invisible. Do you always have to echo what I say? Do you always have to echo what I say? Hang on. That's just what we need. Something like an echo. And you know what an echo is, right? Greetings. 
My name is Helga and I am here to be showing you my Yodelay Yuhu Hing bouncing off the mountains. Yodelay Yuhu! Yodelay Yuhu! I am thanking you. If you make a sound and hear an echo, there is something there for your sound to have bounced off. Let me demonstrate with this blindfold. Now remember, if I hear an echo, there'll be something there that has made my sound bounce. I'll start this way. Nothing there. Nothing there either. Whoa, there was definitely something there. <laughs> the sound came from here, hit the back of there, and bounced off into here rather loudly. <laughs> so, you can use the sound of an echo bouncing off and back to you to tell you if someone or something is there. And a really good thing about an echo is when it bounces off you, it doesn't hurt. Unlike one of these things here, the trouble is, I can't hear anything. That little black box up there isn't making any sound. So what can it be sending out that's going to bounce off you and not hurt you? And it's also invisible. Hmm. Oh, yeah! Well, here's something else that travels through the air that's invisible and that won't hurt you. That beam, that ray, that infrared signal that the old TV remote sends to the TV. So, you know, I'm thinking that little black box up there is sending out rays all the time. And when somebody steps in front of it, those rays are bounced back so it knows that somebody's there. Well, it sounds right. The only thing is, how can I find out that it's only that little black box involved? I know. You wait there. OK, let's put it to the test. That's it. Investigation complete. So that detector box knows when to open the doors because it's sending out invisible rays all the time, just like the invisible rays from your TV remote. And when somebody walks in front of the detector box, some of those rays bounce off them and back towards it. The detector box notices this and tells the doors to open up, you. It works just like magic, only it's not. If you'd like information about this program, or if you have questions you'd like answered, you can write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or head to the website www.susie.co.nz. So when it comes to automatic doors, there's more to it than the eyes can see. And I'll tell you something too, automatic doors and TV remotes are just a couple of the devices that use those invisible rays to work. There could be some around your house. Have a look around. Oh, and have a go at that experiment using the bucket. See if you can tell when somebody's holding it really close just by listening. Okay, well it's time for me to go. See you next time. This one isn't an automatic door. <laughs> See ya. There's no sound coming from that black box there. Hmm. And if I can remember the rest of the words, I will finish this transition. My lehi hu hing, jump, uh, jumping off the mountain, bouncing off the mountain. Because when it bounces off you, it doesn't hurt. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that thing there. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> this program was brought to you by New Zealand On Air.